This is a quick look at the Samsung Droid Charge, a new member of the Droid family manufactured by Samsung and it's on the Verizon network. Let's take a look around the perimeter of the Droid Charge. On this side you have an HDMI port. Now this is a micro HDMI port. The phone does not come with the cable, but you can plug this cable into your TV and view videos on your TV directly from the phone to get the uh, optimum quality. This is the on-off switch and it also puts the phone into hibernate mode. On top you have a standard 3.5 millimeter audio jack. On this side you have a standard volume up-down rocker that not only controls the ringer volume but also controls the volume that you listen to when you make a phone call or when you're playing back some music. Here is a standard micro USB port and you use that for both charging and to sync data on the phone. This is the microphone that you talk into when you're making a phone call. On the back you can see that the Samsung Droid Charge has an 8 megapixel still image camera with an LED flash. It will also do 720p HD video. And this is the internal speaker in the phone for both uh, music playback as well as when you do a, a phone conversation. So the Samsung Droid Charge has Android 2.2 and it comes with Samsung's TouchWiz interface. These are widgets that are part of Samsung's TouchWiz interface. The phone has uh, 512 megabytes of internal RAM. It's got a 1 gigahertz uh, processor and it has a graphics processor unit that makes graphical operations on the Droid Charge very smooth and elegant feeling. It comes standard with a pre-installed 32 gigabyte micro SD card. So the phone ships with 2 gigs of internal storage as well as the 32 gig micro SD card for a total of 34 gigabytes of on-phone storage of your files such as videos and music. And that's a quick look at the Samsung Droid Charge on the Verizon Wireless Network.